Okay, we are at Baldur's Gate. As good as done. Let's go to the Sorceress Sundries. Quail. I believe we start off in East Baldur's Gate. Wonder. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster says good day to thee, young one. What a marvelous happenstance that we should again cross paths, especially in such a grand city as this. Ah, I see by thine eyes that thou no time for my wry banter. Tis true our meeting was no accident. Though I do honestly take pleasure in seeing thee again. Well, I say it's good to see you again. What brings you here? Elminster says, Oh, all citizens of the Sword Coast eventually pass through Baldur's Gate. And I knew thou wouldst as well. Forgive my continued meddling, but I believe it is warranted. Especially considering the pressures thou art no doubt confronting. My pestering of thee certainly pales in comparison to the influence thou hast felt from others, including thine own self. Garion raised thee as best he could, but tis hard indeed to overcome what is bred in the bone. Much more so in this case, I would imagine. All right, so what is it you wish of me? Elminster, I was about to ask this same question of thee. Thou hast come quite far, and though my answers are often less than obvious, I do hope they help a little. Garion often chided me for my obliqueness, though he was fond of a little verbal hide and seek as well. Um, what can you tell me of Garion? It seems I knew very little of him. Elminster says he was long my friend and we talked often, though less after he settled down with thee. He was quite the traveler in his day, though he never regretted his new role as foster father. He felt a stable childhood would better prepare thee for, well, the problems that would eventually come. He cared deeply for thee. I hope this was not lost on you. Well, I'll say he was a good man, though I would prefer to walk my own path. Elminster says, I was not suggesting that thou should do otherwise. Whatever the motives, independence is always a wise course to follow. My worry is that thy lineage is harder to escape than most. Thou hast bad blood in thee, though Garion did what he could to teach thee well and true. Thou hast hungry blood within thee as well, and will not let thee go without a fight. For better or worse, what's bred in the bone will be dealt with in time. I trust thou hast the will to face what is within thee. Um, I know little of what is to come, but I will do what is best. Elminster says, I am sure the future will be kind to thee. For now I will give thee my best wishes, and a few names that will serve thee well. Scar of the Flaming Fist is a good man, and well worth trusting. His superior, Duke Eltan, is also a good sort. Both are to be believed when they speak. I take my leave and wish thee well. All right, let's go to the Sorceress Sundries. Oh, we do need to rest because people are tired. Let's see what this is. For the group. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. You want some whiskey? Um, yes.
Uh, we'll just take the merchant. We'll rent. Tonight you dream of blood. Not of blood on a blade or the blood on your hands, but an ichor that runs as a torrent through the realms. A flood that pours across the fields and forests. An ocean that floats you to the world's edge and threatens to cascade off into the void. This blood seems a frightening thing, a massive force that sweeps away all resistance. As a whole, it is a monster and it cannot be stopped. Were it to be viewed from on high, it would seem to cover the entire world in its red, black embrace. You, however, do not have such a lofty perch. From within the deluge, you can see it does not move as one, but is filled with currents, eddies, and undertoes. Pockets of calm afford breathing space, whilst violent whirlpools threaten to rend limb from limb. Ultimately, it seems undirected and lacks a driving will, a quality you have in abundance. You may be caught within, but sufficient determination can shape what you need to survive. There are still options open, still choices to be made. As the tide presses forward, you steer as you wish, atop a ship called Persistence and under sails made of resolve. A sudden and deliberate wave puts an end to your course and to the dream. It would seem that the Flood does have some will and took offense to your enjoying the ride. Uh, slow poison, that's not a bad special ability to gain. And people are no longer so tired. For the group. If I remember correctly, the sorceress sundries are somewhere up here. Um, let me turn on group in for vision. Um, gameplay. Group in for vision. I think we'll be able to see things a little bit better that way. And this building here, I believe, is the one we're looking for. You can actually go in the sewers in this. All right, time to sell stuff. For the group. Yes? How Bazar Drin says, and who might you be then, hmm? Come to check out the wares of old How Bazar. Well, be quick about it, and mind you don't get fidgety when we talk payment. You knew when you came in the door that my wares were magical. Premium items demand a premium price. Okay, well, let's see what you have then. All right, first, let's see if we can sell a few items here. I'm just going to sell this, even though M1 could maybe use it. Oh, you know, we need to identify this robe right here. Notice Robe of the Evil Archmagi, 10,250. We will sell that. Okay, that puts us up at about 20,000. Uh, why don't we identify the rest of these robes? We can afford the 300 to do that now. The Traveler's Robes and the Mage Robe will just... The Adventurer's Robe. Well, we'll sell those two. I'll sell the Adventurer's Robe as well. 
And while we're he here, let's open the gem bag and sell everything in there. See, 3000 for the Lael's tear necklace. Oh, we got a diamond at that mine as well. So that gives us another 4500 Brings us up to 25000 We could sell the wyvern heads here at 500 each. That's not too bad. We can sell the letters. Let's see, I think... Um, Okay, let's identify. We'll pay 300 to identify these. And the curse scroll. Hmm. We'll sell the mage robe of cold resistance. And we'll sell the Bracers of Defense Armor Class 8 since we now have better. Okay, now to buy. Arrow of Slaying. Slay Ogre Mage upon touch. All right, Emowyn is going to buy a Wand of Monsters Summoning. That will simplify most situations. For the group. Okay, let's talk to this gentleman right outside of the Sorceress Sundries. Yeah, stop a moment. I've got a word or two you need to hear. Niklos says, I, you're a fine group of mercenaries, are you? Leastwise, that's the word on the street, that you do the odd job here and there. I've a boss who'd like to have word with you if you can spare the time. He don't ask for free, though, and here be 50 gold just to hear him out. All right, 50 gold, just to listen, a fair deal, lead on. Niklo says, a wise choice of action. Now just follow me and I'll show you the way to the guild. If you're asked the password, it's Fafford. That's from the books Fafford and Grey Mauser. When you're in the guild, just look for the man named Alatos Ravenscar Thuibold. Okay, watch where he goes and you follow him in the same door. Hi, friend. The rogue says, you there, what are you doing in this place? You better get out of here, unless, of course, you know the password. I say, yeah, I know the password. Well, if you know the password, then spill it, and I say, Fafford. Rogue says, that's right, pal. You, you all can go in now. Now, the reason we're going in here... ...is we want to go to the store that's in here. We'll talk to the guy later... ...if we decide to do this. So I said daggers drawn with him, and he drops the swag and runs! Narlin Darkwalk says, Ere now, I know of you. New sneaksmen ye be, though I canna see no need. Alatos need but look at home for to find a dab at thievery. Mayhap we be testing your talent, for ye rank riders bungle the score. Ye up to me task. Um... I'll say, I've no idea what you just said. Do you speak common? Narlin Darkwalk says, Fa, ye be no thief if ye can't speak the can't. 
You talk with Alatos before you get killed. Now hop the twig and get the hens, you jackanapes. I wasn't gonna, I'm just not interested in doing this test. All right, let's talk to Black Lily. It'll be the darkest day you've never seen before I don't have one. She says it will be the darkest day you have never seen before I don't have what you need for the right price anyway. What will you need today? Remember, cash or hit the bricks. I extend no credit, especially to new recruits. Okay, she has a plus one sling. So um, we need another one of those. So we're certainly going to buy that. Can't remember who needed it, but I know some, one of us needs it. So there's magic bullets, arrows of dispelling. They dispel magic on a target when hit. Arrows of biting are always useful. Plus one studded leather is nice. A cloak of protection plus one is useful. What's special about a, oh, sling of unerring accuracy is plus two. I didn't, I shouldn't, I should have bought that first, huh? We'll buy that sling. Why won't it let us buy that? Oh, probably because my equipment is full. See, she can buy it. Now, if we look in the container behind her, that should be the Book of Dexterity, which Good is on you if you save the day. what we really came in here for. All right, we're going to head, um, let's see, I think... Choose your friends wisely. Not all are as trustworthy as Minsk and Wu. Oh, well, th thank you. Okay, let's uh, put give the book to Imowen. Imowen will identify the book. Raises the dexterity by one. Um, let's give the sling to Jahira. The unerring accuracy sling we will give to Branwyn, who's using a regular sling. Uh, I believe everybody who's using a sling now has a magic sling. And the book goes to my character. So now look. Theophilus has a dexterity of 18. Armor class of 1. Now. Yes. Put the book up in the... Let's see, hold on. These scrolls all go to Imowen. First scroll, we can just drop that. We don't want to use it by accident. Okay, so my dexterity is 18, armor class 1. Now I use the book. My dexterity is now 19, but my armor class is still one. Okay. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. In the next episode, we will head west towards the Sorceress Sundries. That this was a small, actually, Nature servant awaits. Yeah, consider this a small introduction to East Baldur's Gate. Thank you for watching.